Okay, so I'll start with the biggest mistake I think that happens with this one is people are taught a wing lift. I think when we do lifts, we get taught wing lifts first. And I think I've figured out that this is what gets most people doing them incorrectly because yeah. they'll do a wing lift, they'll put their hand there, and they're generally taught to come up, put their hand over the top, and then literally lift the shoulders out. Yeah. And you can do that with a CD, but once you come any well further in the spine, you, you really can't lift their wings. Mm -hmm. it, it hurts, and you can't get the leverage you need. So, I think the key point to this video is getting the patient into flexion, and then getting your body kind of underneath their body. So I'll explain that. So the direction is going to be like back. Yeah. So you're manipulating kind of that way. Yeah. You can manipulate that off your belly, so it's important to get the towel in the right position because you'll kind of nip off your belly or nip off your chest. Yeah. So let's, let's do a thoracic one first. So I have a little bit of towel hanging down like that. Mm -hmm. And I find the section I want and I kind of just roll the towel up underneath it like that. It might just be weird, but it works for me. Somehow I feel like I get the, some a little bit of tension and friction to go to the joint I want. Does that make sense? Yep. Instead of just placing that on there, there's nothing. I'll kind of just find a roll up underneath it. I come in, hands up behind your neck. Massive distinction here is you can come in here, but rather than focusing on shoulders, I tend to encourage, get your arms down close to their chest. Don't overdo it, but just, that's more what you're trying to do with them. You're trying to control their chest. Yeah. To come onto that. Does that make sense? Yeah. Instead of lifting their arms. The next thing is, once you've kind of got that, this is where you're controlling them from, bend them forwards. So you try and get them, and you try and get over the top, if that makes sense, and then maintain this flexion of the spine as you draw them back towards you. As you draw them back towards you, bend your knees down so you effectively come underneath them, mm -hmm. and then you essentially thrust up in that direction here. Yeah. So let's do it. Nice deep breath in. Then flex and then back. Yeah. If we go for a DL. Same ones. Yep, I love a DL lift. Again, wrap that up underneath there. Same sort of thing. Let their elbows come forwards. Wrap them around so we're over the top. Nice deep breath in. Draw them back, maintaining that flexion. Now I'm bending my knees a lot. Good. Yeah. And what you'll notice is, if we could slow that down, is I was more engaged with your chest and your shoulders should feel really comfortable. Yeah. One of the things I learnt by having that done to me was, the thing that makes you nervous as a patient and sees up is, when your arms are getting wrenched out there, yeah. and they're trying to get them, and they're yeah. saying, look up, bring your elbows together, and it's like, that is ripping my yeah. shoulders. So bring your squeeze down onto their chest. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look.